الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر شاہد لطیف ایسوسیٹ پروفیسر ایٹ ڈپارٹمنٹ آف کمپیوٹر سائنس سرحد یونیورسٹی پشاور ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ آور کورس این ٹائٹلڈ الیکٹرانکس ون دس کورس از ایکچولی اے فسٹ پارٹ آف دا بیسک الیکٹرانکس کورس Basic Electronics course is divided into two sections that is Electronics 1 and Electronics 2. In second semester of our programs such as BS Computer Science, BS Software Engineering, BS Telecommunication and BS Electronics, we will discuss the first part of the Basic Electronics which is known as Electronics 1. The course code for this course is ELC216. This course is actually a 2-1 credit hour course. Means that per week we will cover at least 2 hours theory while 1 credit hour or 3 contact hour of lab work. Starting with course details. The course details are such that in our lecture number one of week number one, we will discuss the topic of introduction to electronics. Means that in our first lecture, we will introduce the term electronics. We will define the term electronics and we will differentiate the electronics from electrical as we said earlier that this course is offered for several programs such as BS CS SE telecommunication and electronics course description this course introduces the fundamental concepts of electronics such as the conventional and electron flow means that first of all we will learn the conventional current and actual current and differences between the conventional and actual current the fundamental concepts of semiconductors will also be introduced in this course after learning the semiconductors and their basics, we will turn towards the diode. After discussing the simple PN junction diode, then we will learn the special purpose diodes, especially the Zener diode. This course also introduces the transistors and its various types the power amplifiers which are the application of the transistors will be also introduced in this course similarly another type of transistors that is field effect transistor and finally the thyristor family and its various types will be also introduced in this course this course also provides basis for high quality technical knowledge and skills this course is built on the already acquired knowledge of ac and dc circuit analysis means that to understand the course of electronics one we are in need to have sufficient knowledge of the prerequisite course which is AC circuit analysis and DC circuit analysis. The major course outlines of this course include we will start with the semiconductor basics. In semiconductor basics we will discuss everything about the semiconductors we will differentiate semiconductor from other two type of materials that is insulators and 
the conductors. After covering the semiconductor basics, then we will learn how the p-n junction diode is formed. What are the application of that simple RPN junction diode? After discussing the PN junction diode, then we will turn towards the special diodes. There are several special diodes, but we will focus on the most important Zener diode. After that, the transistors and their basic types would be discussed. In transistors, there are two very common types that is BJT, bipolar junction transistor and FET, field effect transistor. After discussing the transistor, we will discuss the application of that transistor, which are the power amplifiers. And finally, thyristors and their types will be discussed. In our course, we will discuss the four main types of the thyristors that is, four layer diode, which is also known as a shock ray diode, the SCR means silicon control rectifier, the di 8 and tri 8. Recommended books for this course include electronic devices authored by Thomas L. Flight. We are using the ninth edition of this book for preparing the lectures. If you have any latest edition, it is also acceptable. The same electronic devices but in electron flu version authored by the same author that is Thomas L. Flight is also used while preparing these lectures. So these two books are the recommended books for covering these lectures and this course. Electronic devices with conventional current version and electronic devices with electron flow version. Prerequisite. As we discussed in previous slides, that prerequisite means you are in need of some knowledge of various topics before starting the Electronics 1 course. These topics include the scientific and engineering notations means that what is meant by scientific and engineering notations at least we have idea that what are the scientific and engineering notations scientific and engineering notations are actually the representation easy representation of very large or very small numbers then we have to be familiar with voltage, the current and power. Voltage can be termed as a potential difference while current can be defined by the flow of charge or flow of electron. And power is actually the product of voltage and current that is P is equal to V into I. You also have to sufficient knowledge of the Ohm's law and you have to be able to use this law in various applications. Ohm's law states that V is directly proportional to I means that voltage drop across any conductor is directly proportional to the amount of current flowing in that conductor. When we convert the proportionality into equality, we can say that V is equal to IR. In case we have multiple resistors in a circuit, or we have a circuit with multiple resistors, then 
we have to know whether these resistors are in series they are in parallel or whether the circuits have both series and parallel resistances so at least we have the idea that how these series and parallel circuits of resistors can be solved similarly the two important KVL and KCL laws which are known as Kirchhoff voltage law and Kirchhoff current law voltage divider rule and current divider rule are also very important the network theorems for example the superposition theorem the Norton theorem Thevenin theorem maximum power transfer theorem etc are also very important to understand before starting the course of electronics one similarly the capacitor their types and capacitors in series and parallel circuits and the inductors their types inductors in series are in parallel the knowledge of these topics are also very important introduction to electronics electronics can be defined in two different ways one is known as an informal way so informal definition of electronics is such that electronics is made of electron plus ICS we know that electron means a negatively charged particle of an atom that charged particle negatively charged particle can be either free means that not attached to any atom or it can be bounded to the nucleus of an atom means that it can be a part of an atom or it cannot be a part of an atom in both state it can exist these electrons exist in shells of various radii similarly the word ICS which is known as a suffix when we put these words ICS with electron it become noun from adjective the other example of such terms are physical is converted into physics similarly mathematical topics or terms are converted into mathematics political terms or political topics will be termed as a politics etc etc so electronics is actually a noun which represents the study of electrons as we have seen in these examples that study of physical things will be not, will be termed as a physics study of mathematical topics or terms will be known as a mathematics study of political issues political terms will be known as a politics formal definitions in formal definitions of electrons we can define electrons in various ways here we will discuss the electronics definition in three different ways first of all electronics can be defined as it is a branch of science that deals with the study of flow of electrons the control of electrons and the behavior and effects of these electrons in vacuums in gases and in semiconductors material secondly we can define the electronics such that electronics is a science or technology concerned with the development 
the behavior and the application of electronic devices and circuits. Thirdly, electronics is a branch of physics which deals with the emission and effects of electrons and the use of electronic devices means that that branch of physics which deals are which focuses on emission and effects of electrons and the use of the electronic devices now we will discuss the main differences between electrical and electronics remember that there may be many differences between electrical and electronics but some of them will be discussed in this lecture you can see that column number one is representing the electronics while column number two is representing the electrical so the first difference between electronics and electrical is such that electronics is the study of electrons means that electronics deals with study of electrons while electrically mainly deals with the study of flow of electrons similarly electronics deals with the study of semiconductors you will see that throughout our electronics one course 99 percent discussion will be on semiconductors we will rarely use the insulators or the conductor in electronics one course while the electrical deals with the study of conductors as well as insulators thirdly electronics deal with low power low voltage and low current values on the other hand the electrical devices deals with high power high voltage and high current values that values might be from 110 volt to 440 volt or even more than that on the other hand electronics devices normally use 12 volt or less than that fourthly we can see that electronics may involve electronic current as well as the whole current means that in electronics we will consider both type of currents while in electrical it involves only the electronic current finally we can say that the electronics manipulate signals which can be also known as the information on the other hand the electrical manipulate or transfers energy so these are the few key differences between electronics and electrical technologies thank you very much this is all for today if you have any question or any query feel free to contact me on shahid.csit and suit.edu.pk thank you very much